Hey guys. Right now I'm gonna get ready because we're gonna go to a wedding tonight. My dad gets out at five, it's 4.15. My mom's coming out at five too. Guess who was the first one to the dessert table? Oh, right here. Gonna be hot today. I'm wearing shorts. It's freaking cold outside. What? Are we out here? Oh, someone's coming in. Eating tacos. My dad's the cook and Chef Perez over here cooking up on the grill. I mean, I'm gonna take a lot of water. My mom over there. Elotes. <laughs> I'm ah. ready for the lot of men. Either I'm here or I'm in Mexico, but I'm working out or I'm cleaning or I'm talking to my clients or something. But I don't even watch TV, but, but there's TV here, so why not? You guys can probably hear it. <laughs> but I'm just going to hang out today. My mom just left to work. I think someone's outside. I don't know. But I am in Texas right now. I'm at my uncle's house. Hey guys, good morning, no, good afternoon, um, happy Tuesday, right, Tuesday, yes, it's Tuesday, I am now in my grandma's house, um, I did go back to Mexico last night with my mom, I don't know if you guys know this, but my mom found a job here in Texas, like right across the border, and so when she's over here, I come with her and I just stay at my grandma's or I'll stay at my aunt's and just work with Herbalife or just hang out with my cousins or do something. Um, but so last night, I guess there was like a rainstorm or something. It was like around 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. The fan turns off and the little air we have just turns off and it wakes me up. And then I hear my dad go, oh. And I'm just like, okay. I was like, and then I look at my phone and it's not charging. So obviously the power went out. And so we didn't have power from like 4 a.m. And on, I don't even know if we, I don't even know if, we, if our power came back or not. Cause we left our house in Mexico like around nine to come over here. Cause we have to come wash clothes at my grandma's or my aunt's. Cause we don't have a washer or dryer at my house in Mexico. But I don't know if there's power at my house or not. So I'm just chilling at my grandma's house. I'm going to get some work done now. It's been such a gloomy day. Like it's just been raining and it's like 60 degrees, which is pretty, it's cold for me. But other than that, it's been cool. I've just been hanging out at my grandma's house. I took a shower. I haven't worked out, but I will. Um, yeah. And then I keep holding my phone, like, with my hand, like, you know, just grabbing it with my little pop socket thingy. When I have a tripod, like, always in my book bag, that I could just bam and bam. Like, I'm using it now. It's so much convenient. You guys can probably, like, see, like, I can just go like this. And, yeah. But, yeah, that's my Tuesday right now. And I don't know if we're going to do anything today. Oh, we have church tonight. Hey, guys. Um, Happy Wednesday. So I am at my house. I stayed home to organize, you know, we wash clothes. So I'm putting all the clothes away, I'm gonna clean, 
And I will probably give you guys a tour of my house today. Because I've been saying that I'm going to show you guys around the house and stuff. It still hasn't been set up completely because we still do have boxes. They're closing the gate. But um, anyways, I will give you a tour inside and out. So let me get start to cleaning. Let's go. good thing this is one house like there is another house which is the owner of these three houses my, this is where my car goes obviously it's not here because my mom took it I can't see because the sun's on my face but yeah and then my dad parked his car over there and then we have our little porch right here the previous owner used to have puppies so that's why it's all like that and this is my dad's bike when he didn't have his truck or car. He would drive to work with that bike all the time. And we still have a little bit of storage out here, but it's a cute little area right now. The gasoline for when we cook. And now we shall enter my house. Welcome to the Familia Perez new household. Um, it's small. So, right here is the kitchen you guys probably saw it while I was washing dishes the garbage can this is every house in Texas that I know has one of these it has a little storage and a little thing to put your five gallon you just put it in there and it's cute because it just because <laughs> it just tilts down like that and you can serve water we have to pull it forward because it hits in the back but yeah so it does our little fridge our table for us three, my speaker, a little desk where me and my mom and dad, you know, I get my work done here sometimes, and they study. A little area where we have our toaster, our Nutribullet, microwave, my Herbalife products, more storage, my yoga mat and weights, because I work out in the kitchen, guys. I work out in the kitchen because it's a lot warmer in here, and I feel like I get a better workout done. You see, like I told you, we still have boxes here. And now we are going to head into the room. My mom's and my mom and dad's room. My dad's boots. This is this is the thing that separates us. <laughs> this right here separates me and my parents. Kind of. My parents' dresser, their TV, our fan. And this is my little corner over here, my vanity slash desk, the clothes that I normally wear, mostly church clothes. My bed, Mr. Biscuit, of course, I had to bring him with me. I always have this bag packed with like clothes and stuff because the days I decide to just go sleep over at my grandma's or my aunt's house. So it's already packed. A little storage unit. This is where I put all my jeans, my workout pants and sleeping clothes right there. And then some of my shoes, and then most of my shoes are down there. 
and then the bathroom. This is the bathroom right here. It's a pretty big shower. So yeah, that's is my little home. And most of you guys are gonna be like, that's really small. It is, it's really small. And those of you who did see my Snapchat one time, I was ranting and talking about how we should never take things for granted and you know, cause we're so selfish sometimes. You're like, you could have so much in one day and then just lose it all the next. I'm not saying I lost anything cause I didn't lose anything. I honestly didn't cause I have my parents, I'm living. I have life, my heart is still beating. Life isn't about the materialistic things. I'm not a materialistic person. I could care less about that. But it is hard because as I told you guys, I was living in a three, three bedroom, one bathroom home. You know, it had everything that we needed to a one bedroom home where me and my parents share a bed, went out of bed, a room. A little kitchen and I feel like most people were gonna expect that I was gonna you know lose it and that I, that I was like gonna like um, overreact because it's too much and it is too much don't get me wrong but why am I going to like be mad and so upset about something that I have no control over I love this little home this little home makes it us like it's us it's small and it just i feel like it brings me and my parents more closer to each other i think they're proud and my mom has told me she's like i'm proud how you're handling this i'm proud how you haven't argued or you haven't um gotten mad or nothing about it frustrated because if i was that person i would have I, I can't imagine not being who i am right now because if i was that person that was so picky and so um how can i say and i and i can honestly say i was that person i used to set my standards really high i used to be like oh no i'm not gonna do like i used to be that person and now that i'm here and something something that i never would have thought would have happened happened it's kind of crazy like i'm not that person and like i said if i was i would be hurting my parents so much but they've done so much for me they've struggled so much for me and my brother that I would not want to put that burden on them on them can't talk today for some reason but this is my little home like you guys saw um, I love it it's small it's cute when I'm by myself I feel like it's peaceful you know I'm calm in here but anyways I haven't met anybody else that's gotten their father or mom or you know deported and had to move countries and I feel like if I ever do meet some a person like that, we would have so much to like agree on, so much to um, talk about. Because for those of you that don't know what that feels like, would never understand. I'm really, really blessed. And I'm blessed to have the parents that I have that are so strong, that are so confident and that are, have so much faith in God. I think God to giving me those parents because without them i sure wouldn't have been nothing i sure wouldn't be the person i am today i am blessed and i don't know why i keep going on with this rant i just want you guys to know and understand what it feels like and how it is but that's all for today so i'll catch you guys later hey guys good afternoon happy thursday so I just took a shower. I'm waiting on my my Faja to get here because he didn't work today. So we're gonna go do some stuff. Let's see what today's holds for me. What does my hair look like? Craziness. Anywho, but I'll catch you guys in a bit.